the scene opens with the bell tolling in the typical old western town. A man named Clem tries to catch a prairie dog, but each time he manages to escape, Clem's face gets stuck under the earth, and there he sees hundreds of prairie dogs ready to loot the man. It's their world down there. They dance and sing, and welcome everyone to witness this tale of Tom and Jerry. Jerry lives peacefully in a farmhouse. Early in the morning, Jerry along with his nephews is still asleep when the fence breaks and all the cows break loose. Jerry wakes to a cow peeking inside through a hole and immediately gets up. He single-handedly manages the whole situation and gets them back in without much trouble. Bumpy and his cat walks by. At first, it seems like the typical cat-mouse chase, but turns out that they are friends. Instead of hurting him, the cat plays with Jerry. At the breakfast table, Betty has prepared food for everyone, including the mice. They jump into her mug, but she doesn't get angry. Instead, she simply takes them out and continues to drink. They are all family and share everything with each other. In the distance, a man named August Critchley, along with Clem, is planning to take over Betty's land. The only problem is that they wouldn't give him the land willingly, so he plans to force them out. His horse Diablo makes a map in the dirt using his foot. Using that, August explains to Clem that he plans to scare all the prairie dogs away from his land to Betty's ranch so that they have no option but to leave. Clem is hired by August to plant scarecrows across his land to scare the prairie dogs away. Clem shows his wanted poster to him. August hurriedly takes it from him and throws it away without much thinking. A prairie dog gets hold of it and takes it under the earth. Betty's brother Bentley is returning to the town. It is said that he moved to the city and made a fortune with the railroad, but no one knows if the claims are true. Bentley arrives along with Tom, who looks tired and bored. Betty and Bumpy quickly run up to him. Bumpy is busy admiring Bentley's beauty when Tom notices the she-cat. It's love at first sight. While Tom is busy trying to get the cat's attention, Bentley blurts out that he is not the business tycoon he had claimed to be. In his letters, he told them that he is the chairman of the company he is working in, when instead he is a mere junior assistant. Tom tries to impress the cat by lashing the rope in an attempt of making a howdy sign, but instead it backfires. The rope gets stuck in the windmill behind, and Tom gets entangled in it. Bentley offers to renovate the ranch and sell the place as he needs money. Betty thinks about it and then agrees to only if the ranch doesn't work for her. All of Jerry's nephews stand in a straight line while he inspects them. Once satisfied by their looks, he leads them outside for an introduction. Betty invites Bentley inside for dinner. Bumpy notices that Jerry and the others are not here and tries to ask Betty about them. But before he can finish his sentence, Betty stuffs his mouth with a chicken leg. He again tries to speak, and this time Betty throws a pie at him, which he misses, and instead it hits Bentley. Jerry and the others come running out of the mouse hole. They take their straws out and start drinking milk from Tom's bowl. This angers Tom and he runs to get them. But Jerry sees this. He manages to trip Tom and he falls face first onto the bowl. From the impact, mice fly and fall into Bentley's plate, who when sees them, screams with terror. They try to run away, but Tom chases them. But she cat and Jerry grab his tail. Despite this, he still tries to catch them, and all three mice decide to take refuge in Bentley's pants. He jumps in fear up and down, not until they get out. Later Betty reveals that Bentley has musophobia, a fear of mice. That's why he keeps his trusty Tom around, for the elimination of such creatures. He guarantees Betty that Tom is perfect for such a job, and his first challenge is to rid the ranch of the mouse infestation. As he is boasting about Tom's capabilities, Betty and Bumpy see Tom running away from a chicken. Later Tom tries to barricade the mouse hole and wait at the other end, but Jerry is smart. He brings out cheese, and when little mice smell the cheese, they run outside with such speed that Tom is thrown into a cart attached to a horse. He uses it to his advantage and follows Jerry around. Unfortunately for him, the cart breaks and a series of unfortunate events take place that make him end up in an arena with a bull. Little mice tell Tom to hit the bull in the head, and he blindly follows their advice. This makes the bull angry, and he starts chasing him in the arena. As Jerry sees this, he becomes worried about Tom, and without thinking he jumps into the arena for his help. Jerry knows all the rules about bullfighting and wins the fight without much effort. Putting his enmity to the side, Tom thanks them for saving his life. 
little mice introduce themselves as Tuffy, Scruffy, and Duffy. From this day, they consider him their brother. It's the day to fix the ranch, and Bentley and Tom get into their cowboy get-ups to start the work. Throughout the day, Betty and Bumpy get things done, whereas Tom and Bentley only appear to get themselves in trouble. Back at Prairie Dog's place, August's plan seems to work, as the Prairie Dog has nowhere to go but toward Betty's ranch. There are scarecrows everywhere, and they are scared to go that way. Even the sheriff backs down. They have mouths to feed and holes to dig, so they go to the safest place near, towards the ranch. It's been a month since Bentley has been here, and now his plan of selling the place has been completely changed. The place is as beautiful as it used to be when their grandpa lived here. The idea of selling this place to anyone else doesn't feel right anymore. Jerry and his nephews trap all the fireflies in a can and use its ray of light to distract Tom. She Cat comes to Tom's aid and tries to stop Jerry, but in the process, the can falls and all the fireflies escape. As Betty and Bentley see them, the memories of the grandpa come back when he used to do fireworks before the cattle drive. So that's what they do. Fill the sky with beautiful fireworks, which not only they see, but even prairie dogs come to enjoy. The next day for his ride to Abilene, Bentley chooses Clementine, despite being told to choose Stomper. Stomper seems aggressive to Bentley, so he goes for the other one, but his choice proves to be a wrong one. Bumpy advises him to not call Clementine a girl, but it's already too late. Bentley has already said it, and the horse starts raging. Tom runs to his help, and with his sheer determination, manages to calm the horse. There is a hole beneath the sand they are standing on, and as a result, they fall right into it. They see prairie dogs, and Bentley is horrified. Their land has been infested with rodents. Bentley blames Tom for not keeping the rodents away, as it turns out that Bentley isn't just afraid of mice, but also of many other insects. Jerry and his nephews decide to get to the bottom of this matter. Bentley is scared and considers himself lucky for surviving this gruesome attack. He writes an ad in the newspaper asking for the meanest cat, the one who seems to hate the mice most. He needs to get rid of them. Betty thinks he is overreacting, but doesn't say much. Clem has gotten hold of the ad and brings it to August. After facing Diablo, he enters August's office and he already seems annoyed with Clem's presence. He instructs Clem to find the most vicious cat and take him to the ranch. Clem brings scary-looking cats to the ranch. He introduces them one by one to Bentley. Betty tells him that there aren't any mice, but just prairie dogs. Both Clem and Bentley exclaim together that they hate prairie dogs. Although Clem is extremely suspicious, Bentley trusts Clem and sets up a competition to choose the cat from the bunch he brought. If anyone manages to catch the toy mouse before it reaches the cheese, they will get the job. Shorty, who seemed more innocent than the others, perfectly moves past all the obstacles and almost catches all the mice, but unfortunately gets stuck. Lightning, who is another cat, finishes the job and successfully catches all the mice. Seeing this performance, Bentley hires Clem and tells him to bunk out in the barn. While the cats make the mice's life harder, Clem keeps snooping around Bentley's office for some information. Eventually, Jerry and the other mice are all caught and are presented to Bentley by Clem. Betty tries to take the mice's side and pleads that they are only innocent, but Clem on the other side scares Bentley more by telling him how mice can solely be responsible for the whole town going extinct. Clem refuses to leave the ranch as he tells them that there are many other mice hidden in places they don't know. Bentley allows him as they have to leave for the cattle drive and Clem can look after the ranch till then. Betty takes Jerry and the others from Clem and drops them off somewhere far away so no one can hurt them. She promises to come back for them and leaves. They try to get cozy but are attacked by a wild animal. Seeking shelter, they jump into a hole and turns out that they have discovered the place where prairie dogs live. Jerry helps them in opening the food can which they have been struggling to open and instantly becomes their friend. He is chosen to be their sheriff and Jerry along with his nephews becomes part of this city. He is given a new home where he happily moves in. As soon as Betty, Bentley, and Bumpy leave, Clem and his little gang of cats begin to search the house for the deed. Tom tries to distract them with unnecessary bills, but is caught by Clem and thrown into an unknown land. Back at the ranch, Clem is frustrated that they still haven't found the deed. Instead, he starts telling cats the tale of a jackalope. 
She-Cat, who managed to escape earlier, is seeing all this through the window from outside. The darkness of the night and wilderness scares Tom, and he faints. Later, he is captured by the prairie dogs, who bind him with ropes. They take him to the sheriff, and as soon as the little mice see him, they come out running saying that it's their brother. Some old timer comes and tells them that someone has been looking for them. Turns out it's the she-cat. Now that they all are together again, they don't waste a second before leaving to save their family and their home. Clem goes to August and tells him about the failure, but August isn't willing to listen to anything. He instructs him to go back and find the deed in any way possible. Clem sadly tells the cats about how their boss doesn't care about them. Saddened by this reality, he gets up to make dinner, and to his surprise, he finds the deed there. Tom and Jerry tell the prairie dogs about the scarecrow. They manage to convince them that they are harmless and can never hurt them, so they come up with a plan. Clem is about to take the deed when he and the cats see the scarecrows outside the ranch. Clem tries to calm them telling them how he was the one who planted them, but to his surprise, the scarecrows start to move. Turns out the prairie dogs are the ones moving them. One scarecrow even appears inside, and all of the cats, including Clem, panic. One of the cats finds the prairie dogs and scares them away. Tom and Jerry think that they have lost this battle, but after seeing the bees, an idea pops into their heads. Using a cannon, they send all the fireworks inside the house and it blasts. When Benson's return, they are surprised to find out that the whole house has been burned down. Nevertheless, they are hopeful that they can rebuild it. Bentley tells Betty that he isn't a rancher but a railroad man. He misses that life. Despite Tom's unwillingness, he packs his bags and leaves. August comes back with a sheriff and claims that the land belongs to him. Betty doesn't have the deed to show him that the land belongs to her, as everything burned down during the fire. In meantime, Bentley also returns. He never wanted to leave, but wasn't ready to accept that city life wasn't for him. Jerry isn't going to let anyone take their land. He goes to the prairie dogs and brings back the wanted poster from them that August himself threw away earlier. Upon seeing this, all of August's claims fall short, and despite his effort to run away, Tom with help of Jerry catches him. Sometime later when they are reconstructing the ranch, they find the gold buried deep under the earth. Their life changes for the best, as everyone gets what they want, and continues to live together like a family.